This video shows you how to replace the purge valve for the EAC 2.5. Please carry out the work in an appropriate clean environment. The required removal and reattachment of the desiccant cartridge is shown in a separate video. Clean the area around the plastic cover. Do not use compressed air for this task and make sure everything is completely clean. Press down on the plastic cover with an appropriate tool and remove the C-clip. Remove the plastic cover. Remove the plastic insert and pressure spring using flat nose pliers. A plastic cover must also be removed from the other side of the valve. Clean the area around the plastic cover do not use compressed air for this task and make sure that everything is completely clean. Press down on the plastic cover with an appropriate tool and remove the C-clip. Remove the plastic cover. Remove the plastic interior part with long-nosed pliers. Using a suitable tool, such as a screwdriver, push the purge valve out of the opening. Take care not to damage the inside of the casing. You should now have removed these parts from the unit. Clean the interior with a lint-free cloth. Do not use any cleaning medium, such as brake cleaner, that would damage the surface. Grease the inner surfaces of the new parts. Carefully insert the new purge valve into the EAC 2.5. Insert the new spring. Then insert the plastic fixing element for the spring. Install the plastic sealing flap and C-clip. Using a suitable tool, press the sealing cap down. The tool is used to pre-tension the sealing cap with the spring below. Carefully press the sealing cap down with the tool until the C-clip can engage in the groove provided. Do not use any tools that could result in damage to the sealing cap or cause injury. Check that the sealing cap is in the right position. Mount the plastic piston on the other side. Then mount the sealing cap and secure it with the C-clip. Check the current position of the C-clip here as well. Attachment of the desiccant cartridge is demonstrated in a separate video.